Hello, one more question for today and I can relax. This is Nelka again and good day. Mm, this is another email from Mr. Benson here called He has problem with his AutoCAD. He said, I have a plan drawing and when I import the file on dialogs, the dimensions are no longer compatible. Height versus surface of the workpiece. I do not know how to change the scale on AutoCAD. Okay, now this is a problem in AutoCAD. I'm really sorry. Please help me. You will save my life. Waiting for your answer. Thank you. Okay. So this is all about AutoCAD now. It's not about the Dallas Evo. Okay, Mr. Ben Hens here. Okay, you have your attachment here. And when I download the attachment, it's like this. So this is your problem. <laughs> You're saying that you don't have the scale or the scale is not properly right now. Usually, what I do is to check uh, how I check the CAD file is by measuring either the stairs or the door. For example, let's regenerate. Um, DI, command DI to check. Okay, this is, yes, this is 0.145 and this is this stair is 0 0.003 it seems that your scale has been reduced into 1000 what I can see right now is your uh, steps again let's measure it it says it's 0 0.003 let's go in dimension to double check yeah here it's big 0 0.003 Zero 03 so it's easy actually all right so as a lighting designer you should also know how to use AutoCAD on my previous video I suggested uh, Shosha Shisha Shoshi on how to use Photoshop now with you Mr. Benson here I would like to suggest to you to study for um, AutoCAD because AutoCAD is basically one of the best software for designers especially for architects and engineers um, the precisions of AutoCAD in drawings is very you know amazing I don't know what to say so yeah you need to study AutoCAD there are lots of tutorials in YouTube on how to use AutoCAD but with this problem let's solve this one now so this scale is really wrong if you prefer to do it in meters, then all you have to do is make it in meter. Right now it's in thousand. So just make it, just press SC or scale, select the object, get the reference point, and then make it 1000 over 1. Let's see now if it's correct. Get the dimension. Now it's 0.3. So this is the correct um, scale now if you're using meters. So this one is 0.3. How about the doors? Let's measure the doors. DI. Yes. One point something. Okay. One meter. How about the toilet? Usually counter is 0.6. So more or less, yeah, it's 0 0.56. Mm, what else? If you have dimension somewhere, saying, for example, mentioning the exact. Okay, you don't have dimension anywhere. Um, if but if you have dimension, for example, here in this room, from here to here, you have dimension like five meters when we measure it's not 5 meters then we can adjust but since you don't have dimension I assume that the stairs is 0.3 because sometimes stairs is 0.25 so it depends on the size of the steps or the thread this is this toilet is sometimes 0.7 or 0.8 this is 0.75 so I think it's fine so yeah Mr. Benson here I will send you this file and I'm sure you will now have your correct skill. 
but if you want to make it mm you need to again um, multiply it into a thousand how to do that right now this is meter that's why the steps is 0.3 so if you want to make it mm go and press scale again and then say 1000 over 100 over 1 and then it will become big and then the step should be 300 yeah so this is correct now this is mm the steps is now 300 so either of the two either you want to make it um, mm or meter up to you if you like I will copy two pieces of your drawing I will make the other one as mm and the other one as meter so yeah so you will have an option okay now you have this mm and this is m it's so small <sighs> go zoom zoom more and then let's double check the eye and this is point three so you can see it's point three now now mr bin Hensor, now you have your mm here and meter here up to you which one to use okay i will save this one now and send it back to you okay so aside from um, AutoCAD, you must also understand how to adjust the scale in Dialux Evo. And how to do that, let's import the file which we created. Um, because sometimes one of, um, I have one subscriber also. She's so upset because she built up the building with the wrong scale in AutoCAD. And she said, is there any option where she can scale the whole building as in one shot I said nothing unfortunately nothing you need to do it again that's why she's crying <laughs> so yeah so for this one um, if we can remember I have created one mm here and one small teeny tiny teeny if you can see it here the mil the meter I, I don't I don't think you can see it here so either you use the mm or the millimeter sorry the mm or the meter so here you can see it says user defined so you need to to choose between meters which is this one because it becomes big and where's my other one it's hiding and millimeters which is this one okay so I have two options here and yeah so you have to make sure also that you create your building in a proper scale before you start creating your building okay let's let's check I choose mm and when I draw the building for example, I will go to the toilet. It should be properly proportioned if I build a toilet, for example, this side. And then I go and check and create the wall. For example, this is correct. And then see the proportion when you go to the 3D. Zoom extent. And where's the toilet now? And usually toilet has 2.5, 2.8. So for this one, I think this is correct. And when you measure it, yeah, 2.8 and it looks perfect. But you know, if I change the scale of the drawing into meter, look what will happen. Yeah, it's gone. It will be because <laughs> it will be out of proportion. So when you get lost in your Dialux Evo, you're looking for your toilet and it's gone because the CAD file is too big now. See, have you seen that? Your toilet is somewhere here. Yeah, this is your toilet and your CAD file is here because you use, you created your um, 
building into millimeters and now you change your card file into meters that's why it happens like this but if you change again it into your millimeters let's go back and zoom out and go and zoom out again you will see that the toilet is again come back so mr benson here i hope you learned something that's it for now bye